Hey folks, Sean here. And in this episode, I want to talk to you about why it's so important for you not to force a bad workflow in your B2B SaaS product. Now, I may have shared this already, but I'm going to be creating more content that is breaking down B2B SaaS applications, probably from the perspective mainly of usability, which I'm going to be talking more about in next week as well. Also, really, how do you go from understanding what the tool is supposed to be all the way to and through using it to get the value that it's supposed to provide. And one of the things I'm doing now because of one of the next tools that I want to build is I'm testing a bunch of AI driven SEO copywriter tools. And one that I've been testing more recently was supposed to be helping with other use cases as well. Also like creating various advertisements for social media. So I've been testing those tools and learning quite a bit about their workflow, which is something I talked about more recently as well too. Great place to start to figure out whether or not there is need and demand for what it is you want to build. In this case, there certainly is because there's plenty of tools like that. And another way that really helps you is it, it's a great place to start with what these tools can currently do, what they do well or what they don't, which speaks to the opportunities for your product. But one that I've tested more recently as I've been trying to create basically social media ads for one of my products is a tool that's supposed to help you with creating video advertisements for social media. And I want to talk to you about the workflow experience that I had. So just to be specific, what I was looking for in this case is I was looking to have a video ad created that I could run on Facebook and Instagram. So I knew that there were tools out there that could help me with that. So I started looking for one. I found a few and I started testing each, one of which had a landing page that specifically talked about this use case. And this is not all that uncommon for B2B SaaS products out there. Many of them create different landing pages to try to test various value propositions to see if they could drive traffic into the product. That's not the problem. That's an okay test to run. And if it's something that makes sense for you, I would encourage you to experiment with it. It's something I do too. The problem comes when you actually convert that user into signing up for your product and the experience that they have. In this case, as I was going through the steps in the process, what I was expecting is maybe A, they walk me through the process of creating a video ad for Facebook and Instagram, or B, they allow me to just skip it and go in and start doing it myself. Now, the problem here was that's specifically what I was looking for. And I made it to the landing page and it specifically said that that's what the product did. And when I started with the workflow, it didn't have anything that would point me to providing that value. Instead, they tried to set me up with another workflow and force me to do something completely unrelated. <laughs> it was like, I think they wanted me to create an explainer video for my business. Let's create a quick explainer video for your business. I'm sitting here thinking, what do you mean an explainer video for my business? I want to create a video ad for Facebook and Instagram. I want to do exactly what the landing page said that your product does in your product. That's why I'm here. So anyway, long story short, I rage quit, rage quit out of that product because I'm like, this is ridiculous. Even after I canceled that workflow, I still couldn't figure out how to create the video ad. And this is something I'm noticing more and more which is bad workflows in these B2B SaaS products. So I need you to try to take a step back and evaluate what your product is supposed to be and the workflow that you set people up for as they get into it. And if it's too generic, if it's either too generic, as in they can't really figure it out, or you provide too many options, which is going to overwhelm people by choice, we create a billion different videos. That's not going to be super helpful for someone who wants to figure out how to create a specific video or you're not, you're not custom tailored to a specific use case, which is always ideal. You want to go as narrowly focused as you can while still solving a rather large problem. That's really the balance that you need to strike here in order to optimize your signups and then your paid conversions. And not a lot of people are focusing on it. Now, the things that will affect you here is you might think, well, if I go too narrowly specific, I'm going to eliminate a bunch of people that could be my customers. That is a misconception. Most people think that way, but most people then build generic too generically 
And then what ends up happening is people have the experience that I just described to you. They get in the product, they can't figure it out because you provided too many options, or they get in the product and it doesn't do specifically what they needed to do, or they can't figure out how to use it for that use case, and they wind up rage quitting. Okay, so that's the point. But I also want to leave you with, how do you know whether or not you're suffering from that? Well, here's what the symptoms will look like if you're in that situation. Number one, your conversion rates for signups and paid conversions will be off. They won't perform well. Number two, you can use various analytics tools to check for things like rage quits. And there's tools like Hotjar, which is one of my favorite analytics tools, which will try to track this stuff in the user behavior, both rage quits, and they also flag them, I think, as U-turns. As if someone turns around in this workflow, goes backwards, or just jumps out of the application at that point, that's an early and leading symptom, the fact that you may have this problem. So go back, evaluate your product's experience, see whether or not you're offering too much and people are getting overwhelmed by choice. You are being too generic in that you're not specifically focused on the use case people need. And evaluate your analytics. Are you getting U-turns? Are you getting rage quits? And if so, it might be because you're not following the right strategy here.